Hello everyone, I'm Shu Feng from Northeastern University in China. It's my pleasure to introduce our recent work, Automating Incremental Graph Processing with Flexible Memorization. In our real-life graphs are evolving all the time. For example, the addition and deletion of web pages, the creation or cancellation of transition, the follow and unfollow between friends. The changes of graphs will lead to the change of graph analysis results. For example, the creation of the red age results in click farming, since the refund of salad money is not through cancellation of the order. Thus, when graphs are updated, we should update the analysis results immediately. When the graphs are updated, the traditional graph processing systems have to reperform the entire computation on the new graph. However, the recomputation re always results in large amount of redundant computation. This is because that there is a considerable overlap between the batch computation of original graph and the recomputation of updated graph. Especially, there are large amount of iterative computation in most graph analysis algorithms. Incremental graph processing systems update the analysis results based on the input graph changes, delta G, and the analysis results on G, which help eliminate redundant recomputation. We take a graph board, kickstart, and tornado as examples. Graph board can incrementalize all BSP model algorithms. It incorporates dependency driven incremental processing where it first checks dependencies to capture how intermediate values get computed, and then uses this information to incrementally propagate the impact of change across intermediate values. For monotonic algorithms, kickstart only checks dependencies between final states of vertices, and deduces safe approximate result of on-edge deletion. Tornado only focus on those graph computations that converge the to converge to the same state from various initial states. It updates results by directly starting the iterative computation on the new graph with the last uh, converge the states. However, the state of the art incremental graph processing systems have two major drawbacks. First, they need a neutral user intervention. For example, the graph board requires the neutral incremental computation logic, while Kickstarter, Graph E, and Tornado require checking algorithm property manually, since they only focus on some specific algorithms. Can we build an incrementalization framework that automatically converts a generic user specified batch graph algorithm into an incremental counterpart? The second drawback is that these systems use different memorization policies and achieve different levels of generality. For example, Kickstart, Graph E, and Tornado memorize less intermediate result, but they only focus on some specific algorithms. While in order to support more algorithms, Graph Board requires more intermediate results, the vertex states in each iteration. Can we build a framework that selects uh, optimal memorization policy automatically, such that the memorized intermediate results are as few as possible? For this, we propose an automated incremental graph processing system in Greece. This is the overview of in Greece. Our in Greece is not only able to incrementalize batch or take centric algorithms without user intervention but also supports all kinds of water-centric computation with optimized memory utilization. Why increase can deduce the incremental computation and select the optimal memorization policy automatically? We found that in water-centric graph processing framework, the state of, the, the state of each vertex is decided by received messages from neighbors. Due to this property, we can reduce the problem of finding the differences among two rounds of a batch of text-centric algorithm to identify the changes to messages. After fetching the messages that differ in one round of the round of original and updated graph, it is sufficient to reply the computation on the affected area that receives such changed messages. 
For example, from the first graph to second graph, there is an addition age CA and a deletion age AC. A invalid and a missing messages are generated. Where, when performing incremental computation, increase only sends a cancellation and a compensation messages to adjust the graph and the results. The figure 3 and figure 4 list the cancellation and compensation messages when performing incremental page rank and SSP. The next question is which messages we should memorize. We found that there are some algorithms that we can deduce the received messages from the final state of vertex. For these algorithms, it's unnecessary to record any messages to incrementalize batch algorithms, such as the page rank PHP. We call this memorization policy and memorization free. In some vertex-centric algorithms, the final state of vertex is determined by one of the received messages, which is referred to as the effective message, such as SSP, CC, SSWP. This effective message forms a set of passes between vertices. When the graph is updated, we can deduce the invalid and the compensation message with the help of pass of effective messages. This memorization policy is called a memorization pass. In some algorithms, the received message can be deduced from the aggregation value of received message, such as the GCN and the combinate algorithm. For these algorithms, it suffice to memorize the aggregation value of received message during iterative computation. This is called a memorization vertex. Finally, when filling in using the above or memorization policy, we may memorize our messages through ages. This is called memorization age. The remind question is how to choose the optimal memorization policy automatically. Based on generic or text-centric model, we provide the sufficient condition of each memorization. In general or text-centric model, there are three functions. The aggregation function H for ag aggregating the received messages, the update function U for updating the states of each vertex, the generation function G for generating the messages to neighbors. Given the vertex-centric model, we identify the sufficient conditions of each memorization policy as shown in this slide. Increase choose different uh, memorization policies by checking whether these conditions hold, which can be done automatically by employing Microsoft's SMT Server 3. This three. Experimental study. We compare increase with state-of-the-art incremental graph processing systems. All experiments are performing on early cloud. The dataset information are shown as this table. We fix the size of graph update and 1% of original graph size. We compare the response time of each incremental graph processing system. When graphs are updated, it is shown that gray increased outperforms other system on different workload, about 15.93 times on average. We also measure the speed cost of each system when they perform incremental computation. We can see that compared with graph plot and gig start, increase always use less memory. We next evaluate the impact of input updates on the performance of incremental graph processing. We can see that almost all the incremental graph processing systems take longer to process the larger graph updates, and the increase shows a better performance than tornado and the graph board, and a comparable performance with Kickstart. We also conduct experiments to evaluate the impact of size of the original graph. We can see that compared with the increase up, the response time of incremental system increased graph board and the Kickstart are less sensitive to the size of original graph. To sum up, we design a text-centric incremental graph processing framework designed for memorization policy and identify their sufficient conditions. Finally, we implement an incremental graph processing system increase. That's all for the talk. Thanks for your attention.